In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this animated countdown timer video with sound on Canva. Take a video project. I'll be going with the video landscape. Let's go over to our elements and search for neon circle. We'll go to videos and see all. We'll be selecting this video. Let's spread that out. Now let's go to text and add a text box. We'll change the number and we'll change the font to leaks pattern. Let's spread that out. And position correctly. Now let's go to effects and add the neon effects rate. Let's go to animate and use the blur animation. We'll set it on both. Now let's reduce the timing of this text to one second. We'll duplicate that and change the text number to the 19, the following number. We'll keep doing that. To get this done faster, we'll go to position and duplicate as much as we want and change their numbers. I hope this makes sense. I'll complete that and we'll come back. I've filled out this page. The video is with numbers and I want to take out this remaining parts. I'll right click and go to split page and delete this remaining SSS out. I'm going to go to three, which is the last number that ended this numbers. And I'll hold down shift key on my keyboard and go to number 20 to select everything. And I'll go to arrange and align to the top and to the left, then to the center. Because I duplicated the text box multiple times, so it gets the numbers on it. That is why I needed to align this. Now that we have everything aligned in place, I'm going to come over to the page and click on these three dots and duplicate the page. I'm going to edit out those parts to have a little and I just want to get the last three numbers because the first page didn't cover that. So we'll be using the position again. This will be one and the last one will be zero. Now I'm going to split out, position my cursor, and split this page out. I'll delete this SSS out, and we have our complete numbers. Let's go back to the element tab and search for timer. We'll go to audio and click on see all. This is the timer we'll be using, electric timer turn one. We'll add that to our page. And we'll click on the first part of the text box to keep on adding this audio to our design. Make sure the playhead is placed at the beginning of each text box before adding the audio. To so make this easier, we'll go to position and find the text box we want to place the audio, close it out and add the audio. This makes it easier. We'll keep doing this. I will complete the process and for the last audio, which is zero, I looked for a beep audio and added it so that it separated to show that this is the last sound. So I export, click on share and click on download. We are going to export as MP4. It will ask you to connect an account because of the audio we use. So you connect a social account. I'm going to connect my YouTube. Click on connect. It's going to open up this purple window. But I'm going to, when you're done, you click on download. So if you want this exact template, you don't have time to create this from scratch. Grab it with the link in the description. And like this video if you got value for it. And subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Do have a good one.